Hey everyone, like I said, I will keep you posted on, on the Wander Brew here. It has now been in this bucket for uh, three weeks. It's fermented out. Uh, it's been pouring a really good beer. I did initially, you know, when I, when I, on one of my videos you probably saw where I took all the pressure off of it after it fermented out and I tried to let it build up pressure and, and it's not going to do it probably because there's no oxygen in there. So anyway, I put like uh, 12 pounds of CO, CO2 on, on it with my, with my uh, um, bottle and I, I've been sitting, let, letting it sit there for the last two weeks in the garage and uh, you know so the beer has absorbed some of the CO2 I got about five four and a half pounds of, uh, of pressure on here and as you can see here there's still a layer of, of yeast down here on the bottom you know I, I cultured some of that yeast off uh, after the first week and I've just been sitting and let or letting it sit there and, and do its thing so let's pour a beer and see how it does well, it's clearing up pretty nice actually let's go ahead and top her on off let's pour a good head No complaints from that so far. Smells like a kosh. That's a beautiful head right there. I mean, it's naturally carbonated, just you know, basically by itself. I did put the one, one. Uh, I did put some CO2 on onto it one time and, and just let it do its thing. You know, let's taste it. That's a dang good beer. That's a Kosh beer right there. Uh, man, it's clean, it's crisp, it's light. Uh, I think it would make a great lawnmower beer or just, just sitting around chilling with your friends. But anyway, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video on the Wonder Brew. Like I said, thanks again to my local brew shop, Fred and Linda. Thanks for letting me borrow this and try it out. Uh, Cheers.